Hey, this guy Dope is here. Here in my Hollywood mansion. Oh, look at that. It's a Lamborghini Aventador. Just got it today off the lot. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you about all the knowledge that I've gotten through the years, through reading thousands of books, having mentors all over the place. But the only way you can get this is if you get my seven step program. Yes, that's simple, seven steps. And you can become a millionaire in one month. You heard me right, one month. And I'll give it to you, almost free. 90, 90, 900, <laughs> $999, 99 cents. That, and you'll be able to make a fortune for the rest of your life. Now, let's go check the toxic ladies in the pool. I swear, they look good. Hello, my name is Morris Galvis, and this is Finance Predator, uh, the channel where you can become a financial freak seven days a week. No, the right one of this channel is stay hungry for your financial future. Now, before we begin, I want to put a disclaimer out there. I am not a financial professional. I'm not a licensed economist, nor I am licensed to give any advice on how you should invest your money. But what I am is a person that learned through many hardships, through many hurdles, how to actually put my money to work for me instead of me working for my money. And that's one thing that I want to get to you across in this whole series of videos that I'm going to be putting up in the future. This is just the beginning of what you should know. So if you like this channel, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button, put like 15 likes. Also, that will help spread the channel to other people that don't know about this and who might want to learn about this. And you'll be helping those uh, get this information faster. So if you like this content, subscribe. And I'll be putting a lot more videos in the future. So if you subscribe, you'll get notifications saying that, oh, this video I put up. So yeah, and if you would like, share it with other people. As many people as they can see and they can learn about this. Um, yeah, I'm not selling a service. This is all completely free. And it's stuff that you can learn the, the easy way. I learned it the hard way. And what I wanna do is give you a shortcut into how I learned these things and make you more financially stable. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, before I share this information of what I've learned, you should know who I am. Uh, my name is Morris, like I said before. I was born in El Salvador to a middle-income family uh, who never had any hardships. We, the food was always on the table and my parents did their best to get us to the best schools that we could, uh, that they could afford. Now, like any country, El Salvador went through a very tumultuous time. Um, they went through a recession and luck to be had, my parents, the jobs and the companies that they had went bankrupt the same year. So what a luck, <laughs> what life, life is just a crazy and circumstances of events. Uh, they lost their jobs, they couldn't pay debts, they couldn't pay the house, they couldn't pay uh, anything, no, not, even, not even buy food. So they had to make a hard decision. And that was to move away from that and find another place, a place they could find a job, a place they could raise a family. So where else would we go if we're from Latin America? America, of course, the land of freedom, and Hamburg. Hamburg. Hamburger. 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 Now we came to America, not knowing English, not knowing the culture, just knowing that there was a family member that told us they could help us find an apartment to rent in the hood. So we did, we landed in Los Angeles. Now, my parents have told us that we had come to the United States to go to Disneyland, which we never actually did the first two years that I lived here. And yeah, you know, it was just the way that we, we, were, we were told that we were gonna come. But I did learn that through the years, uh, my parents made a huge sacrifice, so I had to put an effort in making that sacrifice worthwhile. So starting middle school, I was 11 years old, and I began to like get serious into studying. Uh, like I became a nerd. 
because I knew that my parents' sacrifice had to be worth it. I graduated with honors from middle school, went on to high school, uh, and already I knew I had to make some money for myself. My parents couldn't afford giving us many things. We were undocumented at the time, living in the shadows. So I had to find some way, something to work. And you know, a kid at 16, 17, now, what is he gonna do? Well, I, I started working with my dad, painting houses and cleaning houses, making minimum wage. At 16, you know, a kid making 10, 11 dollars an hour, that was not bad, you know? You, you get money to save, and that taught me the value of money. How hard is it to get, and how hard you gotta work in order to earn it. Then I graduated high school with honors, and I went on to college, and college was a trip. I had a great time, I enjoyed it. Um, Joined many clubs, joined many organizations. I was part of Sigma Lambda Beta, a fraternity that I hold dear to my heart. Memories that I will always remember of the things that we did. I also joined organizations that did uh, about engineering. I went to school for engineering, so I joined engineering organizations. Uh, Mexican Americans for Engineers and Scientists, Mayas, SHPE. The list goes on and on. I, I even was vice president for a web design club because I like web design. I was vice president of Fuel. Uh, for a short period of time and it's it was an organization to help AB 540 students which I was at the time so yeah I went hard on the books in college and, and the experiences that I had are amazing and I graduated I got my degree and I did it for my family for myself then I went to the masters and then I got my my big boy job you know a kid coming from the hood at 26 making the money that I was making in an engineering company that is world renowned what was I gonna do well I was gonna go crazy with that money. So I did, I traveled, I experienced. I, I, I went to Mexico, I went back to El Salvador, I went to Indonesia, I went to many places in the US, many cities, many famous cities, Chicago, New York, and those were amazing experiences. But at the same time, I, I was not saving my money. I was not being frugal. I was not doing something that I should have been doing with my money ages ago, even when I started making money at 17, and that was to invest it. Formal education does not train us or teach us what to do with our money once we have it in our hands. In fact, they prefer for us to spend it, which I mean, there's nothing wrong with consuming, but consuming at a rate that is not sustainable, living above your means, making spending more than you're earning, that's a very bad idea in how to keep money safe. And then 2020 happened. <laughs> what a crazy year. I mean, everything it was a disaster. We had the virus, the stock market crashed, social unrest and turmoil, California's burning, and it just, I just saw the disaster that it caused. Like many friends, co-workers that I hold deal to my heart, like that were very good friends of mine at, at work. They lost their jobs, they got laid off. My parents got laid off from their, their jobs at the time. And it just stopped me that if you work for someone, you are at the mercy of that person, of that employer. The moment they fire you, you lose your benefits, your salary, your insurance, and it's bye-bye. You cannot pay your rent, you cannot pay your pay anything. And that's when my eyes were open. And I was like, why am I doing this? Why? 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 And I'm gonna give you these five things that I think everybody should know, especially now in these hard times, trying times. And it's pretty much the list. We're gonna talk about budgeting. It's all gonna be briefly talked because the rest is gonna come in future videos. And I wanna go deep in all these topics so you can have really detailed information about what these things are. So if you wanna keep on watching this video, click, like I said, hit the like button, share it with other people, subscribe to this channel, and let's hit these things. Now, number one, budgeting. Let me tell you, I did not budget anything at all. I started expending it like crazy. I saw that there were times my bank account was red and you know, I just had things. I started buying Burberry shirts. I started buying shoes, Yeezys. I started buying Nikes. I started buying brands that, I, that were not cheap, you know, nothing that was less than 20, 30 dollars. I started buying things, shirts that were close to a hundred. And I mean, not lie, they, they feel pretty good and you feel pretty good when you're wearing and people see it, but you are not showing your wealth. In fact, people that are rich sometimes don't even wear those things. If you see Mark Zuckerberg, he is out there wearing some jeans and a shirt. Steve Jobs, he pretty much just wore the same outfit his whole life, a turtleneck and some blue jeans. And it's because they knew something, the value of money and the value of things. Things will depreciate the moment you buy them a car, uh, shop shoes, uh, even the PlayStation 5 that's coming out, all that is gonna go down in price the moment you open it. 
what they knew is like if they used the money for knowledge to get their information to make the things that they wanted they would not have to worry about those things so in budgeting there is this rule and it's called the 50 30 20. 50 goes towards your needs that is pretty much your rent uh, health insurance uh, food that you have to buy to eat then we have this 30 percent and that's your wants like your shoes, the shirt that you want to buy, uh, the PlayStation 5, Gucci shoes, my Balenciaga shirts. Nah, I don't have Balenciaga or Gucci shirts. I think that's too much. And then you have this 20, which is, in my opinion, one of the most important, saving. You got to put that 20 into saving. And we're going to talk about that later. Now, for me, budgeting is a little bit different because I am a little bit more risky with my budgeting and I try to do more with my investing. So you just have to figure out what's your, your risk tolerance, how much you can put in your needs and how much you'd want to give up your wants. It's all up to you. Now that we're done with the budgeting, you want to hit the second step, savings. I have a high yield interest account and I use this bank called Ally. Now, you can choose any other bank. There's many banks out there and they offer different, different savings accounts with different rates. I just chose Ally because it's very easy to make an account and you make one of the best APRs at the moment in interest, which is 0 0.8. I mean, at the moment it's one of the highest banks out there in America that offer this kind of service at this interest. So it's all up to you, you know, like American Express at the moment is offering 0 0.6 the last time I saw. And I'll talk about this in a future video that way you can have more detailed information on which banks I recommend and which uh, places you should put your money in and which ones you don't. I'll try to do my research so I can give that to you. Now that we're done with savings, that brings us to the third point, investing. Now with investing, you can be a, a, as frugal or as risky as you want it. You can buy bonds, which are very stable. Uh, you can see a chart here of what a bond looks like. Uh, and the life of a bond even during corona and now and then you can see a stock which is usually corona and now so it all depends how risky you want to be and how much money you want to make you'll definitely make a lot more money in a riskier venture but you'll also lose more money in a riskier venture now for me i am very risky and as you should be when you're young especially in the stock market with the history that we know even the creation of the stock market and even with all the recessions that have been throughout the history of the stock market we are pretty much at history highs in the last five years this stock market has boomed especially at this moment you're investing in maybe the riskiest time of your life but what is a recession it's pretty much the biggest wealth transfer in the history most people our age are into the stock market are gonna be making their money right at this time, right in these months. The stocks that were $40 today are gonna be $80 tomorrow. Think of it this way. If you bought Tesla when it was $100 and you bought 100 shares of them, you would have made so much money. Tesla is now almost $3,000. So the stock market is a great place to build your wealth, but it's also very risky because you don't know what's gonna happen. And we're gonna talk about that in a moment. And so you wanna be in the right place and you wanna have the right education to make money. So if you're very risky like me, you should buy individual stocks. Now I have individual stocks, I have ETFs and I have bonds. Now, if you're a beginner like me who didn't know anything about the stock market and how to trade stocks, there are two uh, free brokerage accounts that I recommend where you can make an account and start trading stocks today, ETFs, everything, bonds. We have Robinhood and Weibo. Now they're gonna be links in the description below that uh, will refer you to this uh, to this account so you can make your own account and by doing so you will get a free stock that free stock you can use it to train yourself to learn how to actually work up the stock market how a stock market works how to see how the stock market gains value or how the stock loses value now if you choose these referral links i am referring you using my code so i will get a stock as well but that's all up to you you know this is free information, so if you would like to help me out, I, to help you out, then do so, please. I really appreciate it. And I recommend these two uh, brokerages because they're the easiest ones for beginners. They have, it makes it easy to invest and see how to train yourself in the stock market. So yeah, open an account today. Now, it comes to one of my favorites at the moment, and that's number four. And that's build your own business, build your own brand, build your own something. Life is short and I think that a nine to five is great. I am in a nine to five at the moment and I love it. It's a great company. I also love what I do. I studied for it, so I, I know what I'm doing. But 
what I want you to see is that maybe the 9 to 5 is not for you or maybe you don't like your 9 to 5 and you want to escape it. Now for me, I don't want to escape it, but I want to add on to it. And that's the hobby that I have here. Like what you're seeing right now, that is my hobby. Uh, creating websites, creating content, uh, being being a jokester, that, that's me, I don't know. It's just something that I do and I find passion in and I want to share with you that information. Yeah! So build yourself a company, build a brand. There are people right now building their own companies in jewelry, building their own company in cosmetics, building their own company in toys. Uh, you can make so many things, videos online. Right now, the world is endless with this internet that we have. Look at us. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. But yeah, look where we are at the moment. And the internet is an endless bound, a world that is still brimming with undiscovered areas in the undiscovered markets and things are going to be growing fast nowadays with everybody staying at home and looking at their screens more often so choose something you want to do so you can pay yourself so you're not at the mercy of your employer all the time so you can make an extra buck and then that'll help you get to the last step and the little thing that, uh, that i'm going to touch with you and of course there's going to be videos about how to create your future business coming up now this is one thing that i do want to share with you and maybe it is the hardest way to build your wealth and get to the financial goals that you want and that is real step. the fifth point and I'm gonna be real with you. I don't have any of that yet, but I want to get that because I know that's where my future relies. I want to be the owner of my own land, the owner of my own home, have at least two, three homes all spread around the U.S. so I can travel when it's too hot here. I want to go there when it's cold. When it's too lively there, like in Florida, I want to go there. So it all depends what you want to do. Now for this, uh, investing strategy you need capital you need cash and you need it in your hand and if you are not wealthy like me you kind of need to work for this really hard especially in even the state that i live california mortgages are super high and you have to be pretty much saving for years if you want to buy your own home and if you come from nothing you said it the rent is too damn high but the good thing is if you do step number one if you do step number two if you do step number three and step number four in a few years, you should have a cap, enough capital, enough cash to get your own land. And that's the goal that I have. And that's the goal that I want you to have. Now, investing, like I said, is a long-term goal. It's risky. It is ugly. But if you know what you're doing and if you learn and you put your time to it and you read books about it and you watch videos like this all over YouTube, don't just watch me. Don't just listen to me. There's so many other places you can go. And I want you to be able to check out everything so you know everything at the same time. What I am happy for is that you are excited about these things. You're excited about your future, about making a change for yourself and for your family. So if you have enjoyed this video, like this, many videos like this are gonna be coming up for me in the near future. I'm gonna try to have as many, as much content as I can for you guys as soon as possible. So bear with me. This is my first video. It's my first time doing this. So I'm gonna try my best to give this to you and, and keep it lively because I mean, Financing is a little bit of a hard topic to keep lively, but I'm gonna try my best to make it lively for you. And just like that, just like how Bad Bunny says it, we out. Peace. <laughs>